Fantasy Alarm TV for the Big Three. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. First number of the day is 64.5. That's the ground ball rate of the Astros' Dallas Keuchel. Now, the mark was 63.5 last season to lead baseball. It's 64.5 right now. That's an incredibly high mark. I don't know if he can sustain it long term, but he has done it obviously since going back to the start of last season. He is an extreme ground ball pitcher, and that leads to success. Now, there are some things to worry about with this early season start. We know there's going to be a pullback. Some of the most obvious reasons for that are a batting average on balls and play in the 170s, a strikeout rate that's down from last season. It's down to 6 per 9. A walk rate that's up 2.6 per 9. Less strikeouts, more walks. Yeah, not really a good sign long term. He also hasn't allowed a home run. I know he throws a lot of ground balls, but no home runs allowed. XFIP says the RA should be 3-3 right now. It was 3-2 last year. So basically, you should look at the Keuchel and think, Maybe he can repeat the production he had last season, which was something I didn't expect coming into the year. But you can't expect him to be a superstar that we've seen thus far. Second number of the day is 1.45. That's the ERA of A.J. Burnett. Welcome to the party, A.J. Burnett. Goes back to Pittsburgh. Looks like he's going to end his career there. Uh, 1.45 ERA, 1.16 whip for Burnett. About eight strikeouts per nine innings. 2.7 uh, strikeout to walk ratio. Very solid. 57% ground ball rate. Keeping the ball on the ground. And seven straight years with 185 innings pitched. Burnett. As Colton and the Wolfman called it, having a lot of success in 2015. Now, the final number today is 4.96. That's the strikeout rate per nine innings of Michael Walka. Now, Michael Walker's got a 1.93 ERA and having all this early season success, but less than five strikeouts per, per nine innings for a guy who was over 8 3 his previous two seasons, that's a little bit of an issue. The walks are up a little bit as well, 2.6 uh, per nine innings. You know, he's getting a lot of ground balls, 13% more grounders this year than last year. That probably evens out a little bit, too. Lots of success in this season, but as I've noted, he's got some struggles with the strikeout rate. He's been very fortunate with the home run rate. His ex-FIP says his ERA should be over 4, not the 1.93 raw number we've seen. He's healthy, and that's probably the biggest key. But right now, where have the strikeouts gone, Michael Waka? Don't forget to visit us at FantasyLarm.com if you want everything that you could possibly imagine in the world of fantasy sports. Football, baseball, obviously being the two things we do the best. The DFS MLB playbook is smoking hot right now. Don't forget to check that out at FantasyAlarm.com.